Mastiff 3 is an armoured wheeled vehicle, primarily used to transport troops around the ground. It protects the troops, it's got um, bar armour and uh, armour all around the vehicle. Um, it is all terrain, so you can use it off, uh, it's got a good off-road capability. Uh, six wheeled, obviously you can use it in all six wheel drive or just the normal sort of two wheel drive. The main difference is, is this vehicle has got uh, two doors at the front as well, which allow you um, extra, extra access in and out. And you've also got two uh, hatches in the uh, back of the vehicle to allow you to get out. Okay, what's in front of me is the rear of the vehicle. Okay, there's eight seats in the rear. Seven are for passengers, one is for the top cover. The uh, top cover is just here, and he will stand on the platform there, uh, and he will basically give a 360 overview. He's got a uh, traversing unit there, which allows him to motorise around 360 degrees, and any information that he needs to give to the commander or the driver is done via headset. The Mastiff 3 is fitted with um, the four-point harness. Uh, it used to be fitted with a two-point harness, but it's been found that the four-point harness keeps you into the uh, seat a lot more securely, so you're not getting so many uh, injuries if there is an IED attack or anything like that. The actual harness itself has a simple buckle system in the middle, one twist, and it'll undo all four sections. For whatever reason, the buckle system is broken. Every seat is also fitted with a uh, cutter. Simply put it into the strap, pull it across, and that will uh, release you from the seat. The camera system that is used on the uh, vehicle is called a SDU. That is the screen in front of us now. Uh, the SDU stands for Situation Display Unit. Okay, it's um, connected to six cameras around the vehicle: two on the rear, two on the front, one at the back. Uh, and the, the one at the front is called a um, TISWA, Thermal Energy Sensor Wiper Assembly. Generally, because of tactical situation, you ain't going to be driving around with your lights on. So you'll, you'll use that with the um, IR illuminators around the vehicle, and this allows you to drive at night. Driver and passenger, I'd say, were more comfortable, but it's not uncomfortable in the back either. And obviously, it's there for a purpose, so the, the, uh, how comfortable it is isn't really your main priority. The Mastiff 3 is a great bit of kit. It's allowing us to do our job on the ground, and all the other lads that have been using the kit have 100% confidence in it.